In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make the background image fit the screen in CSS and also remove the white space. Okay, so I have a simple example here, just an HTML boilerplate, which is currently empty in the body. And I'm just linking to this style sheet here, which is also empty, right? So just an empty page. Let's say that we want to add a background image and you can go to Unsplash. You can find all sorts of beautiful images. I found this one, right? Very big. I'm going to copy the uh, URL and let's just try adding it to the body element, actually. So we're going to select the body element and I'm going to start off with background image and I can just use URL and I'm just going to paste that URL right here. So then let's see if I refresh, let's see what we get. It may take some couple seconds to download the image. So this is a very large image, so um, it's not going to be sized properly. It's going to be the same problem if it's too small. You're only going to see, um, it's not going to be uh, uh, the right size. So what we want to do here is we can say background size cover. And this will make sure that it actually um, is displayed in whole and it will not um it will not it, its aspect ratio will be respected so it's gonna it's gonna take some time my computer is a bit slow here because i'm recording a video okay so after some time you should see the image in full right now the problem is that um, of course there's going to be some space left and it's going to try repeating the image now we don't want that so we're going to say background repeat no repeat we don't want any repetition and then refresh and then you're going to have that white space below there in a second right so now we're going to have this white space here right so to get to get rid of this white space here what we're going to do is we're going to make it a fixed uh, background attachment as it's called so if we say fixed here it will actually extend all the way to the bottom right so now if i refresh it can take some time because the browser has to calculate here and i'm recording a video so it's going to be a bit slow on my computer but eventually you should see that the image actually extends all the way to the bottom um, right now what's going to happen is that if the viewport gets smaller you can see it sort of you know moves off out of the viewport so we also want to center this image in the center horizontally and vertically so we can say center center for both of those axes and then that should be it. So now if we refresh, it should also work nicely uh, responsively. Um, if you resize the, um, the the window, you can see that it remains in the center, right? So now it's also very uh, responsively uh, working properly, working properly. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you wanna take those skills to an advanced level, because in there we will build some beautiful real world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.